Okay. It's because you're a good. It's because you're a good guy that people want to punch you in the face. I'm Arthur Perkins. This is AP Gaming Real. Still getting the you know cameras here set up. Just before the stream went live, Rad went into great detail as to why Pondo is a very punchable person. Uh, Not all of them. Just just. Just, just his face. Just, just his face. face. Specifically, <laughs> yes. It does not apply. <clears throat> Look, for um, all the rest of my streams this week, I feel like it's important to uh, get this one out of the way. I received my first message on YouTube comments that said, like, are there stop? So you're, you're a dungeon master, not a political mastermind. Don't comment on politics. You know what? I've been doing this for five years. I might maybe a dozen times in a year comment on politics, and it's normally because the safety and security of the United States is at great and dire risk. So if something I say upsets you so deeply that you wish uh, to stop watching the stream, just just go ahead and stop watching now. The closed tabs in the upper... Fuck, God damn it! I forgot my camera is reversed. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I even practiced this whole thing, but it only reverses on Zoom. God damn it! All right, well That's look. Practice a mirror. I did. Uh, you can always tell when a person's so nice that they actually have to rehearse being mean. You know what, <laughs> Sid? Go fuck yourself. I have to practice everything. All of my intros nowadays. Like, you're like, it took you three hours to come up with a salad joke for the intro? Yeah, Sid, it did. You know how hard it is to compare five people to an object? You know how hard it is to make a joke about Caesar salad? It's not easy. It's not easy. That's what I've got. You want to know what happened for me this week? I bought giant fucking pillows. I was on Amazon and they were like, get these great pillows. And I was like, you know what? I could use a new pillow. And they're I like, know. it's a hotel grade gel filled pillow. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but okay. They show up, <laughs> they're like fucking three feet long. I'm like, what the hell is this pillow? That it's almost as wide long. as my goddamn bed. And they're like, well, it's 20 by 40 inches. And I'm like, what the shit is this super pillow? I only need one of them. And they sent me two. So that's where I'm at. Well, I have two fucking huge pillows that I don't have pillowcases for that I was super have... excited to get today. And now I got to wait two days for Amazon to send me some fucking pillowcases. That's where I'm at, brother. I could just return them. You wow. know what? I actually like them, Pondo. They're kind of oh, okay. super big. Like, you know, they're just slightly smaller than you would expect from a body. Like, they're, you know, they're like a whole size smaller yeah. than a body pillow. I, I was just, I was really curious where this anger is coming from. Yeah, leave I don't to get pissed off about something he likes. <laughs> about fucking pillows, man. You know what? You want to know what I'm pissed about? Is that the pillowcases don't come in black. They only come in white and tan. You know, you could solve that. Just dye them in your sink. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God! What do you yep, think I am? Dye them. You go to Hobby Lobby and you get yourself uh, Hobby Lobby. Just go I'm to done. Hot topic. I'm out of this. Like hot hot topic. <laughs> and you buy yourself some Indian dye. And you uh, do hot the shit topic because it it's powerful. Let AI. me ask you a question, Pondo. What part of my personality makes you believe that I have ever stepped foot inside a hot topic before? No, like I was making a joke about okay. how everything is like dark and edgy and hot topic. <sighs> You're dark and edgy. I buy all my clothes at hot topic. No, you don't, rat. They definitely don't sell topic. that shirt at hot topic. <laughs> That shirt is literally the most normie thing I've ever seen. Normie. It basically screams computer programmer. I bought it at Columbia. Thank you very much. It's an outdoor person shirt. Yeah, normie. Uh, it has deer blood on it. So. I mean, I hope you mean it has deer blood stains on it. No, it has fresh deer blood on it right now. He just went in the backyard <laughs> yeah, with yeah. a machete. Walked some, up to a deer, somehow. unicorn style, Just whispered in its ear. There was a deer munching yeah. on one of the trees some in the air. So oh, the deer deer wandered into my territory. <laughs> so I ran out there and strangled it to death. Came right. to a fist fight. With the deer. <laughs> yeah, I suplexed it. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do these intros for everybody else when I'm not <laughs> screeching in rage. James, <laughs> you're at the top of the clock as we go. Ah, uh, it's reversed. When I do clockwise, it looks like I'm counterclockwise. God damn it. No, you can you can 
change the orange. I know, but when camera. I do, then I like look in different Ah, oh, it's so upsetting right now. James, <laughs> how has your week been since last week? Uh, I've been uh, I've had a really quiet week actually. My um I was supposed to be in the US next week and my wife moved all her shifts forward to this week so that she wouldn't have to look after the kids while I was in the US and my trip got cancelled because of jury service, but she said all the shifts. So I've just been on child care duty. I, I bought a uh, a super heavy tank from Games Workshop to paint this week. And uh, uh, my my child finally convinced me to play Fortnite with him, for which was a mistake <laughs> about <laughs> 40 minutes of my life. I'll never get back again. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for me. I, my, my delivery from Iron with Metals arrived, so I've got like another 15 mechs to paint for my own Battletech campaign now. Ooh. So. Man. Look, I'm like, someone called me the king of nerds last week. Uh, but, like, that's something I can't get into, is painting mechs. Like, I just, I don't think I could spend the time doing it. I'd literally probably just be like, all right, just going to sink this motherfucker in a bucket, dry it off, and then maybe, like, paint some unit colors on that shit. Shake it a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just, you just gotta uh, learn it. it made ink, inks, inks, just bottled talent. Just, just yeah. ink it. It looks fantastic. I guess, like, I feel like it's the fishing of nerds that people are just like, what is a very calm thing I can do to just sit down and just be like, all right, just gonna. That's not me. Well, the downside is I've actually wrecked my back this week by leaning over <sighs> little plastic soldiers. So. All right. All right. Rad, you're up next. What do you got um, going on? I am Radosaurus. I also don't paint minis, but um, not because I'm not nerdy enough for it. I just, there are certain things I, in my life I know that if I got into, it would be a black hole for me. And that I know that painting minis would be a black hole for me. Because like, painting miniatures is definitely a gateway <laughs> drug for nerd. Yes, young. I would get into it and then I would suddenly somehow, somehow, miraculously have even less money than I have now, which doesn't seem possible, but um it, it could happen so uh, i i envision that would be something i'd very much enjoy so i have to tac tact tactically avoid certain things that i would enjoy so as to be able to support my family put food on the table uh, i'm good i had a good week um pretty run of the mill i guess you know did some did some school functions with my kid um did some army stuff uh sure the army like that yeah, yeah, the army liked it. They like um, it when people show up for work. I like it when they pay me and things. So <laughs> that works. That all works out pretty good. Um, I heard so, people do like being paid. Yeah, poor Coast Guard. Um, so I also found out that there will probably be a portion of time in what did I say it was May in May where I'll probably gonna be gone for four to five weeks. Um, yeah, we're working on getting a, like a whole second show to go in that block. Yep. Yep. So, uh, that was, you know, that stuff is always a blessing and a curse because it sucks to be gone from the family, but it's nice to make a bunch of money. So, uh, it's pros and cons anytime that stuff shows up. And of course, what I have to do in those four to five weeks varies greatly when I'm gone for those chunks of time. So, uh, it's too early for me able for me to be able to tell what I'll be doing, um, but it'll probably suck, which is fine. I'm okay with the suck as they call it. Um, it won't be a cool like school or training thing that I go to, unfortunately. So I won't. I probably won't be able to come back and tell any stories about it. You've been um, assigned to Antarctica. <laughs> you know, I found out that um, I'll, this would be a quick story. I won't keep it long because we got. We have, we have a lot to do on running away today. Um, I found out that an ex-uncle of mine, he was part of the family and then he wasn't because his people finally figured out he was a weirdo. Actually, uh, we found out that he was he's in Antarctica and we're like, what the fuck does anyone go to Antarctica for? It's always like a joke, right? Research. In Antarctica. Well, but he's not a smart man. He works I mean, on like, I he would works, go to Antarctica. He's the guinea pig that they said. He works him. on air conditionings, um, and he's very good. I'm not saying that people who work on air conditionings are not smart people. Air but, conditioning uh, Antarctica. Yeah, that's so that's okay. Now you're with me. Now we're all on the same page. Now that I've told they you. Need, so. They need good yeah. airflow there, motherfuckers. Yeah. yeah. So they literally live inside sealed metal tubes I mean, for six months of the year. Between HVAC and air conditioning. Right. And I'm maybe. maybe Does he not do um, HVAC as well? He might, right? I assume like he's that's what he's done with most of his adult life. He's much older than me. I mean, he's practically my dad's age. Uh, 
So I'm sure he has a breadth of experience in that field. So I mean, I don't think he just moved to Antarctica to be a homeless man because that's not a thing. Uh, uh, so I'm sure he's doing something and I'm sure he's probably making money hand over fist because people aren't big on hanging out in Antarctica. So I imagine so. Mm, yeah. I don't think so. Research teams you don't, think don't so? get. Yo, research teams don't get paid a lot of money. But as, well, a, like, a, really te as a technician or a contractor, I bet he would make a lot of money. He's got to make sure so? that the researchers are alive. So I feel like he's going to make money. I guess I, I can see. Probably it. not blowing money on fast food every day. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's right. the like, one. What are your living expenses? You go yeah. out and try and kill that They cover all of that it, shit. To get you through you. the winter, I guess. Yes. I don't know. I don't think there's a moose in Antarctica. If it was Alaska, yeah. I'd That's be true. Right. What do you even kill? I guess I was thinking. They of don't. No, they don't <laughs> go out and hunt too. things, y'all. That's fucking illegal yeah. in Antarctica. What? Uh, what's that show that comes on? It's like thirty above or below. Or I don't remember. Uh, there's been one I used to watch. There's a show. Mountain Man. Yeah, I can't even remember what channel it's on, but it's about people who live in Antarctica and above the like the Arctic Circle line. There's two and, different. Uh, oh, there are two different shows. No, no, the Antarctica and, and the Arctic are in two above different the, locations. The, uh, above the, yes, you're talking about the people who live in like super northern Arctic Canada. Circle. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Completely saying, different yeah. direction. Right, so, sorry, it's right. actually I'll, legal to go hunt shit up there. If I was saying Antarctic, I was misspeaking. It's up where like the Inuits and stuff are, right? So, um, so yeah, I always love that show. On a completely just to just to pull us sideways for as far as possible. So it's illegal in Antarctica, but it's legal in the Arctic Circle. In Antarctica, there's a treaty preventing uh, just about everything that you can do there beyond yeah. research. Yeah, it's worth pointing out, Antarctica is actually like a continent, and, and yes. the Arctic yeah. is a region. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Oh, okay. There are certain things. So, like, um, I saw a really fascinating episode that was if. There, so like there's a big market up there for finding uh, fossils, like particularly like woolly mammoth stuff and uh, th those kinds of like old things, but only people who are like registered Inuit descendants are allowed to harvest it. Um, but apparently it's a really big market. So I thought that was pretty interesting. There's a whole episode where this woman went out with her family and her children to go scavenge um, these like preserved petrified mammoth bone from uh, the Arctic Circle. It was pretty neat. Hmm. But what I learned was everyone who lives up there is a weirdo. Uh, so, oh yeah, it's and very I, mystical to me to imagine this world covered in snow and ice. That's very strange. Uh, strange premise for where I live and my entire life, basically. So, it's almost like the other side of the wall in uh, Game of Thrones kind of situation. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. I don't the have a other lot of side of the wall. Mm -hmm. Look, man. Let me tell you about this fucking wall. I, when is this show going to end? Uh, this is it. This is the last season. But it hasn't even started. It feels like it's what? taking forever. Is it only like five episodes or six? Six. Six, six episodes. Yeah, but each so one is like many. a fucking two-hour yeah, monstrosity. Each one so each one is an hour and a half plus. My God. I mean, I don't mind watching six Game of Thrones movies, but by that same token, I don't mind watching six Girls und Panzer finale movies, right? Like... Yeah. It's gonna take a whole week to watch that, that shit. Comparison at all? Yeah. Um. No, man, I'm all in. I mean, we've we've walked the Game of Thrones trail this far. Uh, I'm I'm excited for the last season. I'm actually glad it's the last season too. Like, I can always appreciate it when a creator or storyteller understands the importance of an ending, and so, so it kind of prevents it from becoming like too much of a cash grab or like let's just draw it out to make it go as long as possible like or just ending it without like any sort of closure yeah like that's kind of how i do most of my shows let's not jump the shark let's just have a beginning and a middle and an end and just to have it be a complete story that we tell and it's finished like i really wish there were more like less like, instead of everybody deciding they need to do a trilogy to make get make that third movie and make that extra money to just like a duology with like two movies like um you're like know. you know how much better Shorter star Stars. wars would have been if we ended on empire <laughs> I mean, yeah. return of the jedi was good no no i have no problems with return jedi um and look as much as people say that episode three is back and forth right i feel like the thing that really redeems episode three is when they did it with a an anime opening you didn't, course, you didn't see that trailer see yet no, not it's that. really good now I gotta all right, everybody got booted, so I'm going to yeah. have to restart everything. 
The best oh, thing about yeah, three is when the you... intro Star Wars. Yeah, that was freaking amazing. Yeah. The best thing about three is when you compare it to two. That's what makes three so good, really. I mean, it's... the thing that makes three so good is it's the culmination of a political mastermind plot. The the thing that makes three so bad is all of the shitty writing. Yeah. Um. Got anything else for me, Rad? Uh, last thing I'll throw out there since we're talking about Star Wars is Lucasfilm jumped in and saved uh that vader film on youtube which is pretty cool so that was a neat thing if you're not following that i'm sure you can just get on the google. fan film right yeah, yeah you can get on google and you can check out vader fan film and there's all kinds of articles and videos and stuff you can watch on it but basically a guy spent his own money to make a really very high production quality fan film. Yeah, it was really good when i saw it. it was really good um and i guess one of disney's like subsidiaries that handles their copyright jumped in there and tagged it on youtube uh he hadn't he didn't monetize it but they tagged it anyway and uh then they started making money off of it they monetized it and they made in the course of tagging it and monetizing it they made 80 grand off of the video uh and then lucasfilm jumped in there and made them uh untag it so it's back on the internet and it's ad free and just for the fans and the guy says i don't know the guy's like faith was really restored in the whole process after being kind of kicked around and beaten. So now he's he's all on board of making like a second episode. So he's gonna do like Star a Wars has film. some really so amazing so cool. fan films. I thought that was a win for the fandom, like really. That is a serious yeah, I mean, win for like yeah. any Tro- Troops was really the, the first fan yes. film. That, that it was, yeah. was now. Oh yeah. my God, I love that so much. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, that was cool. As a Star Wars nor- nerd, if you're not up in your Star Wars news, that's that's a thing that happened that was actual good news. So that's cool. I feel like Troops uh, was heavily influenced by both Cops and 9-11, and uh, it came out at the perfect time I mean, it was to be fucking parody. hilarious. It was it was a Cops parody, is exactly yes. what it was. It, was. it was some college students. That's so good. I mean, it was college humor. It was, it was the thing that made them big. They that still was, in the 90s. was it? No, they made references yeah, to like 9 11 the conspiracy theories on it, didn't they? It was no troops was in the 90s. I recall seeing that shit in high school, dude. Mm. Yeah, no, troops was in the 90s, I guess. All right, Cotton, it's you. Hi, yeah, hi. I'm Cotton. Okay, I don't know what to talk about. It's solid. All right, look, I'm going to throw you one here. I'm going to throw you uh, one. Honesty is important. I know that you have spent the last week researching the native foods of Nebraska so that you can cook <laughs> Nebraska food. Can you tell me more about this food of the native Nebraskans? Well, I'm I was trying to figure out what was actually like Nebraskan because we just mm-hmm. have a bunch of normal food. <laughs> but it's normal for you because you live there. That's fair. I couldn't think of any when I was I mean, telling you about all foods. It all sounded it all sounded pretty normal to me. And <laughs> I'm, you know, Pacific Northwest yeah. it sounds like the same stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh most of the stuff I actually do know how to cook, except right. I don't know how to make a runza. I usually just go to the restaurant runza and get their runzas. What's a runza? See? A runza see. is a beef and cabbage roll. Oh, okay. Sid, what do you know about raisin pie? I love raisin pie. I've never even heard of this shit. Oh, so Raisin pie. I mean, I've heard of pecan pie, apple pie. Strawberry rhubarb ice cream pie? What? Mm -hmm. Strawberry rhubarb ice cream pie. Even Pondo, Pondo, who completely checks (laughs) out during the intros, is like, what? (laughs) <laughs> Scooby <laughs> snacks. All I knew was a hard lot. I mean, words somebody said pie. pie. That's. <laughs> I've been listening because I, I I wasn't going to say anything because I had a runza. It's all right. It's all right. It's just all right. Not all right. Yeah, it's all right. Cabbage. You're not a fan of cabbage. Right. Ca- about the fuck Western is wrong anymore. with you people? Cabbages are great. I have no problems with cabbages. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the issue is that it's soaking in the fats of. You got well, yeah. how you make it taste good, motherfucker. You can just grease it up, and it's good. I don't want to hear shit from someone from West Virginia talking about <laughs> grits, talking about what's that? What's that thing where you just take like a solid hunk of pork? Ah, oh, I 
can't remember. I have it. no idea what you're talking. No. I mean, you, there's a lot of things that you take a hold. So, no, 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 no. no. I can't remember. Scrapple, Scrapple. Uh, you can't. Sounds familiar. You know, Scra dude, Scrapple is the most West Virginia thing you can encounter. Grits and Scrapple. It's literally just a pre-cooked thing of pork that you then slice down and then fry again. It's double oh, fried I pork. I didn't yeah. know it was called Scrapple. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's 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 pork. It's basically pork spam. Yeah, it's pork yeah. spam, except it tastes a hundred times better and has like oh, five billion percent more salt. It's literally just a block of salt with ham yeah. packed in around it. I, 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 I probably know about it. I never looked up like the names of it. I know there's like pepperoni rolls. That's that's from Reg West. Virginia. Yeah, I. You know what? I I don't get the pepperoni roll, man. Just make a fucking pizza. Well, oh. the pepperoni roll was made because the coal miner wanted to make a lunch. Yeah, no, nope. bring in. Yeah, I know. I like pepperoni rolls. I'm talking about. I lived in West Virginia for thirteen years. So I can know the story. People in New York that doesn't know about pepperoni rolls. I'm surprised sitting there. I imagine James is sitting there and he's like, "Yeah, we have all the same food. We just slather Vegemite all over we everything." Just... <laughs> <laughs> <It's almost brilliant. laughs> You know, not everybody likes Vegemite, right? It's literally like a giant block of salt with some really yeah, nasty yeah, shit. Have, have it, have it, you don't have it in the quantities people do whenever they see it. But the one that always gets me is you guys go to Outback Steakhouse yeah. in the yeah, US? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Bloomin' Onions. Yes. The only place I've ever seen that in the world is at Outback Bloomin Steakhouse yes. in the US. We have Bloomin' Onions well, here. To be fair, Outback Whiskey Steakhouse Creek. has gotten a lot of flack about not being accurate. So. Yeah, like I'm sure that somebody just, you know, they opened the first store and went, fuck. We got too many bags of onions. Oh, well, let's just dip it in some batter and call it Australian. No worries. I'm pretty sure that blooming yeah. onions are a Texas thing. No one's gonna know. We have it in our Texas themed. Yeah, I think whiskey oh. cream is Texas themed. You just chop a giant fucking onion into tiny pieces and you fucking batter that shit. Drop it in a fryer and pull it out. <laughs> dip it in some chipotle it's sauce. Easy. I got kicked from the game again. All right, we'll see if you can rejoin. I'm still here, so it's fine. okay. All right, just me I then. still have it. Yeah. Rocky Mountain uh, oysters are pretty popular here. Gross. Well, Rocky Mountain oysters no, are popular no. everywhere for some reason. Nope, won't do They're it. They're super popular here, um, but the way you cook them here, according to my dad, is you make them fresh with your branding thing, your branding stick. Mm -hmm. Oh. That All right. Extra gross. You got anything else going on in the uh, in the Nebraska territories, Cotton? My dog was missing all day yesterday. That is fucking horrible, but I'm guessing that you found them or you'd yeah, say my did. dog is still missing. My dad found him. We were we posted it online trying to tell, see if anybody knew could see him. And they spotted him at like a car dealership and then they spotted him at a lumber yard. And he basically took this huge circle around my side of town and then my dad caught him trying to sneak back into the fence. That's reasonable. But he couldn't get back in because he's kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, that's reasonable too. He got out in the first place. He crawled underneath my house to get oh. out. He like broke part of the siding and crawled underneath it and out the other side. Because <laughs> he's a jerk. Yeah, that sounds straight like up a jerk. escaping from jail type crap right there. Mm -hmm. All the best dogs are kind of dumb. Yeah, I disagree with that. I don't know about that. <laughs> he's something <laughs> i love him but he's something you're gonna tell me old yeller is dumb uh yes. well i mean one hell of a dog yeah but it was also kind of dumb yeah. name one time old yeller was dumb i mean i haven't watched that movie since i was a child because right. i'm not a because yeah. i'm not a masochist We're passing but, uh... on to uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's, not bad. that's fair I'm telling you, it's like I'm talking to a second Lexi, or she's like a second Rad. I don't oh understand. God! Because we just used one same word that you've heard. The two of you are the only ones that are like Sadie is a masochist. It's just you two in my entire I've life. Thirty-two concept. years old, and I've literally never heard anyone be like masochism in, in a normal conversation. I mean, I refer to that masochism whenever I'm talking about something like Dark Souls uh, or mm -hmm. Bloodborne, Neo, all that stuff. <sighs> Maybe you just need to broaden your descriptive horizons, either. My school. <laughs> I'm about to describe how your mech explodes like a fucking firework with Katy Perry. A ghost image of Katy Perry in the background. 
<laughs> Don't worry. Give it a turn or two and it will. All right. Yeah. Great. I'm not going to need your help. Mom Cotton, mom. I think we need you to rejoin the tabletop at some point. I, I can't. I can't find it. You can't or find I'll it? Interact. I'll try to see if I can invite you. But uh, uh, if you can't, then I think you need to restart your your Steam. Steam. Okie doke. All right. I tried to invite you. Let's see if that worked. Speaking of people who need to get invitations, let's talk about Pondo, who I've invited to join me forever and ever and never, ever leave my show. That's the new plan, is to just put Pondo on every show for all of existence. You're going to get damned. You're going to get damned. <laughs> yeah, I will get damned. Pondo's just going to be like, uh, I have the flu. I'll be out for a week. Shows a week. <laughs> Well, so long as none of my characters die like 15 times, so it's... Oh, so no New Game Plus. Got it. Well, no, I mean, it's like, didn't Dan have like an issue where all his characters just well, died? Well, look, no, no, see, th there's two things Dan was famous for. Uh, being on all of my shows, and so when he couldn't make it for a week, my whole show would shut down. Speaking of which, that's happening next week. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, uh, it's not because of one person. It's like comes a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. The only show I have next week is the new show that's launching. I need to know what the other thing is they're he's, famous for. That he's famous for is yeah. uh, creating shitty Pathfinder characters and immediately dying. Oh, okay. I he would literally be like, all right, I'm going to play a Magus with light armor, and I'm going to run into combat range, and I'll use my charisma to the AC, and I don't, I don't need armor or dexterity. And then I'll be like, great. Uh, uh you get fireballed and he'll be like oh my save is so low because i don't have any dexterity and he dies what i remembered when he was he would basically go on the forum google up like the most op build he could find yes. and then play it terribly wrong like, <laughs> yes. in the worst way possible there was literally an episode in the skulls and shackles after story the like um the like mini pirate arc thing that we did and he was like all right there's no way this is gonna backfire on me i'm gonna run up to the enemy magus and use my magus powers and i'll kill him instantly and he missed and the enemy magus was just like all right uh i don't know i'm gonna use shocking grasp and oh i got a critical hit so the shocking grasp also crits and yeah. uh, I'm like, so how many hit points do you have? And he's like, I got like 50. And I'm like, well, you take 71 points of damage and die instantly. <laughs> die instantly. Yeah. He's like, I regret the last action I took. <laughs> well, yeah. Dan, everyone. Dan. That guy made a lot of characters. You know, I got to admit, the one thing Dan never did was be like, all right, I play the same character but with a slightly different name. He Ooh, always made true. an entirely new character. He did. Pondo. When you're so, not here, well, what are you doing during the week? Uh, work. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Currently, currently, I'm in the process of moving. So. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, had to had to go make some trips to the dump to throw away stuff. Nice, nice. That was That's fun. my favorite part of moving is throwing things away. There's actually a yeah. store around here called the dump. So. Well, I mean, like your trash dump. Of that course. No, no, I know, but there's a store here called the dump where people. Is, just... it, is it a store that has just a bunch of junk in it? Yep. Oh, okay. You could drop stuff off there too if you wanted. I don't think they'd like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a dump. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Currently, in the process of moving, so uh, hopefully things will be get better by next week towards the end of it. And. I'll have a freed up schedule mostly until I get a job. All right. I'm in the process of a couple of them lined up. So, so all yeah. of them take place from eight to midnight. I got Thursdays. I, I want to hopefully try not to get an evening shift. Are you? Are people dropping again? Is that what's uh, happening? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't what know. Are I was gonna ask, are you gonna go back to streaming once you finish settling in? Yes, I would love to. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is coming out the 29th, so oh, everybody dropped. Yeah, I, my tabletop crashed. So yeah, 29th uh, is Kingdom Hearts. So I'm definitely be playing that. All right, I'm gonna have to restart the table again. Fortunately, we're still in intros, I guess. Yeah, we still have like two more people to go through. Oh, no, just no, no, we more. just have Sid. Oh shit. You know, and he's no Radosaurus, so. Oh, shit. Look at that rad joke. I mean, I heard a rad compliment, personally. <laughs> <laughs> Sid Alpha. 
Yes. Yeah, let's talk about you. Oh, um, yeah, I did things. Really? We oh. did. Oh, yeah. How was the oh. fact that you were about to do your intro surprising to you? <laughs> I don't know. It just was. Totally caught me by surprise. Um, yeah, we had can coal on Monday. It was a lot of fun. We had to cut it short, which is fine. Sorry. It was, I, I believe it was a mutual decision for the sake of your health, not anything you did. So there. It was not entirely your fault. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been, it's, it's been a week. Um, uh, I worked from home today and I'll be working home again tomorrow so I can get more stuff done and get get some of these projects off of my plate so I can get back to a more regular schedule with videos and stuff like that. I probably won't even get a chance to get into video out until Saturday at the earliest because I've got projects. I've got voice acting lessons. There's a, another stream um, podcast type stuff that I agreed to be on this Saturday and more voice acting stuff. So yeah, I've got a lot going on and a lot of it I can't actually talk about because non-disclosure agreements and stuff like that. You never knew who might be listening. Okay. You talked about the thing that we're going to do the other thing. Yeah. The thing that, that leads to the thing that we're going to be doing the thing Man. for, you know, there's another tabletop I did RPG. A lot of show that literally has ndas so they none of the cast members can talk about the show before it launched it's so weird well i'm actually uh this is a government so yeah NDA. like a real oh. nda thing i know <laughs> yeah, it's a real nda <laughs> like if i i could talk about it but i'd probably wind up in jail yeah yeah i had to do that shit mate all right we finish with that's, with intros. That's pretty, that's all I've got. I'm pretty yeah. good. We only, we only had like a 32 ready, minute I'm ready intro. For this ass kicking that's going. Sure, to be we awesome. don't need to like okay. a, another 20 minutes or something. Um, I think we need one more mech on our side. Uh, I think we need uh, a lot more mechs on our side. <laughs> all right, James, you have some wonderful news from our friends at Catalyst, aka the people who make this game in Shadowrun. Is that correct? That's it. Yeah, they all just right. they sent out a, a press release to the um, Catalyst demo team agents yesterday. So it's also on the website as of today, but basically 2019 is the 35th anniversary of Battletech uh, and also the 30th anniversary of Shadowrun. So they're planning to do a bunch of stuff um, this year to do with both those properties. Um, on the Battletech side, they've actually finally come through with a release date for the boxes. Um, so both the starter box and the main box will be available on January 23rd uh, in stores um, oh, and close. through their... Yeah, it's it through their um, web store. They've also just released a new source book called Shadow, Shattered Fortress, which is based around the start of the Dark Age, um, which is actually already available now as a PDF through their store or in stores on the 23rd. Um, they've revamped the Battletech manual with a 30th anniversary edition PDF that's available now as well. Uh, that's just has been updated all the current data. Um, and they're also going to start selling some Battletech 35th anniversary uh, apparel. So t-shirts, hoodies, pins, that sort of stuff. And they're redoing some of the novels through the Warrior Trilogy. It's getting a re-release as both PDF and print on demand. So plus there's a whole bunch of stuff as well for Shadowrun. But I mean, I think people here are here about Battletech today, so. Yeah, people are here mostly for the, the Battletech. Yeah. I did a Shadowrun show, it was not popular. It was really sad because it was set in Hawaii and we were doing all these Hawaii 5.0 references. <laughs> is that still on youtube i'll have to look that up oh it is it is look i definitely misran that game for 100 percent. and there was one guy who was like rolling 10 extra dice uh they're literally just like all right you know i'm just gonna go with what this says and it says i get like 25 dice and i'm like are you sure that sounds right they're like no that's what my sheet says <laughs> i gotta say shadowrun in the history of shadowrun has my favorite game mechanic of all time which is back in Second Ed Shadowrun, you could actually make any skill roll. Even if you didn't have the skill, you just found the closest skill to it on the skill chart and you traced a line. And for every intersection you went through, you added plus two to the difficulty. Yep, so that's I could the can roll, call. Yeah, I could roll handgun to do brain surgery just at a plus 12. Yeah, that makes sense. 
<laughs> that's how I mean that's how Kantai Collection does its uh RPG and and how should it should have been there's yeah I, there's just a little bit more of an extent it's like handgun I got this skill in handgun I'm just gonna fix your brain I mean you gotta have steady hands that's I, boom you know, Pondo that's <laughs> that was a real headshot I would say uh, now looks like your frontal lobe is the problem here we're just gonna get rid of that real quick I'm gonna I'm gonna look over these sheets because there was some uh, I'll call it minor complaints that I didn't really show how badly damaged the players were. But uh, the opposition is in the following kind of deal. This mad cat's a little smoked up. This mad dog is definitely smoked up, and these other two are fine. Let's uh, yeah. let's take a look at some of these mechs. Marauder Two is basically untouched. The Flashman uh, has like six center torso armor. And uh, its rear armor is, shall we say, almost non-existent. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this Devastator is perfectly fine, basically untouched, and I don't uh, think it's ever been shot before. I think the armor is pristine. Uh, <laughs> factory <laughs> fresh, really. Factory fresh. <laughs> no, it got burned off back in, in the Issei Collision. Uh, uh, well, look, I'm still figuring out how canon Issei Collision is. Okay. There's some. There's been some backlash. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Some of it's been from me. Uh, the Zeus. The Zeus, the Zeus, the Zeus. You're good. You're also I'm factory I'm fresh. Yeah. And this Victor is untouched except for the giant gaping hole in its head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's okay. He can light a cigar. Uh, I also completely forgot last week that I had too many lasers, not one. So. Oh, goodness. So we need you to re retroactively do five damage to a mech of your choice, nope. Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just, our to, just to be fair our opposition so has arrived out the ac20 and we just even this all up we even have Preferably this little on one of the more fresh mix like mm -hmm. uh, the cauldron born or the uh, by the hellhound probably more bizarre. oh yeah no no the devastator is totally painted in like premium paints that he had to get at the cash shop <laughs> cash shop <laughs> yeah of course it's still got the wax job from like the dealership on it yeah <laughs> That's not true because it has been shot. All right. The rain still beads up on it. Still got the rain X on the. <laughs> As the new enemy star arrives, a conversation takes place over an open channel. And a new voice uh, that you haven't heard is coming from the Adder Prime. <laughs> star Captain, it would seem you require our assistance, Kuyaf. And then from the uh, Timberwolf, you hear another voice. Star Commander Quarrel, so you finally arrived. Star Captain Charlie, let us complete the coil maneuver. Neg, Quarrel, this is my bid. My boa sting will complete our battle on our own. Perhaps in the future, a recon star would engage before a heavy star. Your cowardice will cost you honor today. This is a trial of annihilation, Star Captain. We are free to attack as necessary. Should you engage these opponents, I will meet you in a circle of equals quarrel, and you will learn why the Remembrance speaks of my bloodline as being superior to yours. Switch to a secure channel immediately. Yeah, quarrel. Yeah, quarrel. Motherfucker. <laughs> Get wrecked. Man. You said it was an open channel? Yep, open channel. Oh, like... All we could hear open it. Comms. Yes. You know, if you two want to fight this out, we could go over to here. We would gladly let you guys just go on. We'll be happy to stand by. Seems like you have some things you want to work out, and you know, we really don't want to get in your way. So, guys, yeah, it's really you're ready to fight again. Really apologize for the inconvenience between you two. We really. It was a great guy. There's like Jerry Springer the fifteenth that, that you know? might be able to help your situation. <laughs> so can we have a uh oh let's point out. Can, we, can we have a quick tactics discussion yeah no no, no. there's just one more thing i'm sending it to sid right now all right uh so sid you get a quick encrypted burst transmission uh it's from a different channel than the one you've been receiving <laughs> so far now can you send that to me so you don't muck it up this time it it decrypts itself successfully Okay. <laughs> all right. I am now going to wow. take my headset wow. <laughs> off so that you uh, all can plan. I would prefer you don't spend more than five minutes. Let me know on Discord when you're done. 
I think I have my phone around here, so I'll just play some mobile games. Good luck. Okay. Do we need to know what the transmission is first before he, he goes off or not? I guess not. I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, Sid has it, so. I'm sure he's okay. looking at it right now. Oh, he's okay, I'm he's sure he is. <laughs> um, so what is your idea at the moment? What's your primary idea? So there's a couple of things. First off, if they're actually going to go ahead and not have the light launch engage us because they want to sort of keep their honor, then us engaging them automatically ends that. Would just yeah, that's that's what I was going to find out. As it's like, were we able to hear that? Because I'm about to shoot this yeah. adder real quick. So what I was actually going to suggest is the fact that right now we're stuck in the middle of both units. Um, we actually may be better off pushing across to the far side of the board so that we've actually got them, the, their entire group between us and the way out only because it means we're only fighting mechs on one side. Uh, yeah. The other thing I was going to suggest was that they basically revealed that this was a trap to get to lure your group anyway. So uh, they may not care that much about the Baron. In fact, they completely pulled away from the Western Edge. If it looks like we can't actually get the Baron and get out, which is at the end of the day, we, we probably could still win this, but with considerable losses, we might be able to sort of tell the Baron to zip the head out the Southern border, try and we're not going to get, we're not going to get him now, but he may be able to escape the notice of the clans and flee on foot with his security detail. And we'll have to try and find a time to get him later on. But it, if we have to try and pick him up and get him out, then everybody's going to die. Well, yeah. I think the trick was if we contact him, they will know where he is. And then but that's the thing is that they may, they may not care. He can move one square a turn. He can be off the board in four turns. Um, they may... We, uh, especially since where he's at, he has a lot of cover that they probably won't be able to hit that him. edge. I don't think he can retreat off that edge. I think he, uh, if he were to retreat, I think he would have to retreat off our edge. It's more to say that he's not going to retreat into our friendly lines. He's just maybe able to get out of this engagement and we've got to try and get him somewhere else later. <laughs> Right. That could be a possibility, I guess. Just make sure he stays alive and out there. Uh, it would still be a failure if the mission parameters are to grab it. I feel like this is going to be a failure. So like you tell me, James, if we, so let's say we do that and through some miracle, we are able to eliminate this first Lance that we were facing. Uh, wouldn't then the light Lance then engage us on the spot. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Like the thing is that you, with, if they're not going to engage us, we'll have a chance to get space from the light lance from us. Right. So, well, it's going to be, um, it's going to be tricky trying to push past them. I don't know that they're just going to let us do that. Um, no, it's, it's just, we'll have, I, I, I have a feeling like it's one of those things where they might fight each other, but if we move at all, I think we start. To I win. think it's if we don't engage the other lance, we'll be fine. They won't attack us <clears throat> if this goes how the way we're thinking. As long as we just keep engaging the first lance that we were, okay. The other lance won't mess with us. I mean, I'm okay if that's if we we want that to be our plan of action is to uh, try and get lucky and ignore the light lance for now and continue to work this these three mechs that or four mechs that we have left here. Yeah, uh, maybe that's the right answer because uh, the uh, the Hellhound has pretty much put itself out at this point. Um, I guess yeah. it could get back into cover this turn, but it would have to go way out of position to do that. Yeah, and the Mad Dog is currently in prime position for people to jump on him. Yeah, I uh, mean, Sid could keep on shooting at the Mad Cat. So I'm gonna get away. I'm gonna run probably back around Not the bottom that. of this hill. I'm probably going to try and jump to here because then I won't be able to be shot by either of the other two in the water. We'll have a shot on the Hellhound and maybe a shot on the Vulture who moves forward. I might. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'm going to wait and see. But I'm, I'm either going to engage this Hellhound or I'm going to try and start pushing up the map because I can't make it across this water in a turn. And if these two guys shoot at me again, I'm probably dead. Yeah. So I can tell you a gamey thing you could possibly do. If they move forward into the depth one water, um, uh -huh. If someone can get into the depth two water, you can shoot at them with lasers um, and they can't shoot at you because basically you're shooting at their legs only. Uh, pretty much weapons can't do the transition from air to underwater. But if you're entirely underwater, you can shoot at other components underwater and only their leg weapons could shoot, which they have none of. So that was one thing I was thinking. If they did walk forward, I might jump into the water. Uh, this hex here 
and then but all i've got is terminium lasers but every time you take armor off a mech underwater you roll a 2d6 on a 10 plus that that location is flooded and all components in that location are useless for the remainder of the combat hmm. okay so but it would but the hit only counts if it's a leg hit exactly right yeah okay. well so you roll you roll on the leg table you roll on the uh, wait this, isn't your cockpit open so wouldn't you just drown Technically, it's not because it hasn't taken a crit. Like it's, it comes down to Arthur's uh, narrative style. That's just the rules of the game. It's just yeah. All right, all right. So that's a definitely an option on the table for me. Then is to move into this depth. Could I make it one? Is it double movement uh, to move into depth one for each? No, I think isn't it just like a regular move? It's just two movement to get down one depth and one, then two, three, yeah, it's just the four, same as traversing five, six. Five, six. Just, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Okay, that's an option on the table for me then. Yeah, keep in mind that your weapons are shorter range, but they you should be able to still make it. You're talking about okay. things that are range nine and now range six, that sort of thing. So Okay. Let's I'll, not... have wait, I'll have to wait and see what they do before yeah. I would attempt that maneuver. So what's the encrypted message, Sid, or do you have it already? An encrypted message. Huh? One of those things, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of deal. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, they're, they're offering a, a star captain's then role. It would spoil the surprise for the audience. Okay. Well, cool. cool. Right. Somebody signal Arthur. Get him back in here. Tell him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually noticed Rad freaking out before I, before I got the. Other things. All right, I so look. Wildly a lot <laughs> I need to say this, by the way. I think I really pissed Rad and the rest of the cast off, but mostly Rad during the week because I was like, this battle's totally winnable. And they're like, we're fucked. Why would you say that, author? We're doomed. And I'm like, don't worry. I think you can do it. And then I was like, ah, oh, you know, now I kind of sound like an asshole. <laughs> I was mildly perturbed at one point because, <laughs> like a like like a girl you're trying to go out with, I was getting very mixed signals. I was like, y'all need to fucking learn how to retreat. Y'all suck at guerrilla tactics. And then like, oh, she had a moment back there, but now she's being kind of a I mean, jerk, you know? Look, you can't. You're like, y'all are going to win. Y'all there are a lot of choices fight. here. If you continue the fight, I think that you're probably going to lose some X. But if you retreat, you can probably make it out. Uh, so if I'm recalling correctly, Sid, you are doing that thing we messaged about? Yes? No? Um... Mm. Oh boy. Uh. Turns out Harriden was a clanner all along. <laughs> yeah, that would be well, I can pretty tough. Turn and shoot him in the face right now. He's <laughs> like, I was a member of Wolf's Dragoons before you were born, free Devast births. <laughs> Devastator Alpha strikes the victor right in the face. Sir, I don't feel so sorry about this at the moment. So, so <laughs> waiting on you. What's the decision here, Sir Maxwell Harridan? Call the ball five by five. So, our plan was to. Whoa, leave whoa! Him. Do I need to hear this part? Are you sending this transmission or not? That's yes. all I need to know. Okay. Did you sit, sit, all right. Just... All of you uh, receive a large burst packet from Harridan's mech. No, uh, I'm just sending it on a return. Right, right, right. But they all get that signal. They know that you sent a signal out. Well, sir, what did you do? <laughs> it's a it's a JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> sir, what what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just a little bit of a surprise. Don't mind me. Carry on. All right. I, I, you know what? All right. Let's roll for some initiative here. Go Sorry, Arthur. I have a quick touchy question for you. Yes. Um, I touched given that the Steel started. Vipers have mentioned that uh, <laughs> this, was a, this was a trap to get this unit, yes. and they seem to have pulled away from the Baron. Indeed. If, if we felt that we couldn't get to the Baron and get out, could we tell the Baron to basically try and retreat through the southern edge or through the you know the edge closest yes. to the mech streets yep. and we'll have to try and find him later just to try and leave this engagement and we will yes pick him up in a few in a future mission. are you sending the baron a transmission no i was just wondering that was a possibility All right because <laughs> don't worry sure we have all of our options laid out on the table i'm gonna then i will let you know this at some point there's a pre-scripted moment where the baron will contact you which is going to be weird for me because I haven't found the Baron yet, so I don't know where he is. <laughs> so some of my dialogue is going to be a bit odd, but Very thanks for that like, sub, by the way, Darth Porteus. 
I'm in a great spot someplace on this map. I'll, I'll give you a hint, Arthur. He's on a hex. Wow, you... Mm. You were actually close by him at one point. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? Thanks. All of that sounds great. So I'm going first. <laughs> I believe all of my light mechs have a run of nine, if I'm... Yes. Don't we roll really. for... We did. I fucking lost horribly. Yeah, because I, I rolled roll. his dice like 20 times before we started. Nice. Wait, so wait, you guys didn't roll? All right. Well, no, you, we did. You roll. Okay, all right. We did? <laughs> I did, did you not roll? I you rolled. No. Fine, no. roll. No. I mean, you basically need to get a three in order to... That's not okay. got a 15. Yeah, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's a run of... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's... A two red die. Three red die? No, that two red adder die. is uh, worrying me. Hopefully he's on his way to shoot that timber wolf in the face. One, uh, two, that'd be great. Three. We're giving him all. That, uh, Six, that seven, hellhound? Eight, that'd be also great. Three, four. I feel like that's not what they're doing. Yeah, I think uh, you're it's... probably right. <laughs> you know? All right, I'm you guys are trying up. to give myself some false hope here. <laughs> Uh, I'll go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You just, I don't think you can that, do that uh, one. You can't, right you can't, you can't do a triple. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm not you can fall if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, go down three levels, but you want to pay, please. <laughs> you won't like how it ends. Three. <laughs> I just take some leg damage, all right? That's how it works in uh, Mecha Warrior. So, yeah. <laughs> one, two, two, There's some water down there to cushion your fall. Uh, it's also it's true. A bold move showing the back as well. I guess you're really committing to the strategy that they're not going to attack. Uh, you know, <laughs> they're going to get my yeah. back somehow. That is We're going to find out now <laughs> if they're not going to shoot or not. Um, are you sure you don't want to turn? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going all in. Oh, uh, shit. I've lost count. Am I supposed and? to be moving two at once or one at once? You should have been one, two. You should have been one at the start and then two the rest of the way through. Right. Well, I did way. two and then Question. I'll do one now and then it's two the rest of the way. Question. Although Can the I elementals, run? I'm not counting because they're attached to the. Can I run if I box. backed up and then turn to run forward? No. Okay. So it's if I go backwards, I'm just stuck going backwards yes, at the walking You're stuck there. walking. That's fair. All right. So now I'm doing two from now on forever and ever, I think. You guys are up. You want to I mean, go, Sid? Um, Ondo, you could have done the same thing, just ended up facing this way. That would also be what? Because you were originally here, right? I was here. You were there. I backed up. It's one. I backed up. Then why? Did uh, you... One, two, turn for three. Then why do you keep your back facing them? That sounds like a terrible idea to me. I'm, I'm going all in, Sid. Do it. Fully committing. I'm testing their honor. <laughs> More like you're testing the star captain's ability to intimidate a second right. unit. Hondo has sent you a Discord message too. It's okay. We'll just. I will move next. Yeah. By not moving. Okay. Great. So that's a bold play, Sid. <laughs> so does that? I have to move two units at a time. Include the elemental. Uh, yeah, separate so unit. Second okay, so. of one. Yeah, one. otherwise it'd be one, one, two, two, etc. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So those two move together because the elementals are ghost riding the whip there, and that's my turn. Ghost riding the whip. Any volunteers or? Let me ask a question. Did you guys do your tactics discussion in character or just as regular <laughs> normie people? I think it's as normal people because oh. we know more about the clans and our characters do, and it's 10 second rounds. Sure, sure, sure. I just, like, half of you haven't actually had a scene yet yeah, in, the, a in the third season. <laughs> we don't even I'm know just, what Molly sounds like. I'm just a faceless Flashman mech. <laughs> My character is a mech right now, basically, <laughs> for all practical purposes. Who's going? Who's who's braving? I would like to go last. Um... Oh, I was going to go after you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go then since no one else wants to. Yes, great. Uh, 
Oh boy, this is a this is an unusual. <clears throat> Show your. Oh wait, no, you can't because you're not. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you Man, show but if, back to the if a mech gets up here, it's gonna be real bad. Yeah, I well, don't luckily, think anybody there's no can. Mechs that could get up there easily. Not yet. Actually, no, it'd be fine because they can't shoot down. I mean, they're clanners. They can. They can shoot. No, that's down right. They can. They can shoot upside down if they wanted. Themselves. They can reroute all of their weaponry through the bottom of their feet. They uh, all their mechs work like uh, pretty much <laughs> riflemen, where they can just flip their arms real quick and go. Pew, pew. They don't have jump jets. They just use their weapons. <laughs> They do that scene like the last Starfighter where they start to break dance and they shoot their lasers in every direction. Yeah. And then they go into warp drive and crash into another ship. Death Blossom. <laughs> the death, death Blossom, that's what it was called. Three, four. Oh my God, I haven't seen that movie in so many Six, years. Seven, Dude, every time eight. I watch it, I, for, I entirely forget about the part that happens on Earth where his doppelganger like runs around and they... Uh-huh. Yeah. Doing all kinds of stupid crap. I don't even remember. He gets shot, somebody kills him or something. I don't know. He gets shot and then he ends up like, yeah, having to kill himself to take out an assassin or whatever. That's right. All right. Yeah, motherfuckers are up. Oh yeah, intergalactic bounty hunters. That's what they were. <laughs> Do you want me to go, Red? Did the mad dog already move or not? Nah? Mad dog has not moved. No, it hasn't. All right. He's too moved. All right. Uh, James, do you advise Operation Red October here? No, because they're not staying in depth one, so you couldn't shoot them anyway. Oh. I mean, they couldn't shoot you as well, but you'd be right up there. I see, I see, I see. Okay, all right. Your plan to go deep in the lake? <laughs> it was one an ping, one ping only. It was an option. Um, I guess for a flashman, that would be a pretty effective method of burning yeah. off some heat, but... Well, but you can still fire lasers underwater. You know what else you can fire underwater? Farts. Didn't expect that one, did you? Let me tell you. No, go ahead, go out. Uh, Aren't you just made a fart joke? Well, I know. I was just to go behind you so you don't get shot. Oh well, you're not. I was, you know, as close as I could get to you. Yeah, it doesn't work that way because they can still shoot through you and still shoot me. You can't like. Well, block. I was, I was gonna try to help. You can just wave your hands in the air and see if they target you. It was, it was a sound <laughs> track. Can't pull uh, roadhog and body block. In order right. to do that, though, you have to just not care. Uh, I think you. <laughs> I think you should be able to body block in this game, but it's not something you can do, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, I think you should be able to body block as well. So, so what's the deal here, you two? You got to resolve can, this. Can I just jump here? Yeah. To Toads and the goats. Yeah, you can yep. jump around. You can jump, jump, jump around. It's time to get down. That joke's over in your next bingo. Like, you use it every single yeah, episode. Probably should. And then I'm asking if I should face the hellhound or... The vulture. What do you guys um, think? We don't know where either one is. If you be. face to the south, it gives you the most flexibility in terms of torso twisting. Which way is the south? Uh, uh, down way. towards the sheets. So she's somewhere I'm it's right. Uh, right there. Here? Yes. Yep. Head yep. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right, Arthur. Move your last two nerds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get any farther than that? I think you have eight. Well, I need to go one more step forward. <clears throat> Works for me. Time to rain fiery hell down. Six part jump or a nine part run, huh? What could I do? Jumping is not going to be super efficient here. I do it, I tear you. Mm -hmm. Stay out in the open. Totally won't just open fire on that hellhound. No, totally will not do that. What would a hellhound clanner pilot do at this point? One, Run away. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. How eight, many hounds could a hellhound hound do? If a hellhound could hound hounds. Um, I don't like that. That doesn't work out. I think it worked out fine. You know, I yeah. think really well. that you can go fuck I rather yourself. enjoyed that <laughs> one particular strategy. Four, six. 
Is that one short? It looks like it's one short. I think I still shoot over the trees. Mm -hmm. All right. Looking Show me your face. masterful way of getting out of this multi-part <laughs> death lock. I'm open to suggestions. <laughs> That's that's good because I'm doing that thing where I cut off all your routes of escape. We call a checkmate. Well, I was playing 10D chess with the chat. Primarily, you can easily get away from these two here. They're sure. down here. So, uh, what it boils down to is I cannot get away from the hellhound. So one, I might as well two, shoot him two, three, in a good spot. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I'd hide from the bigger mix. I think. I think. Uh, I think is run as far as you can. Run, forest, run. And get ready to run through those woods. Get as many hexes as possible. Yeah, so you can get to like right there with eight, eight feet of movement, eight hexes of movement. Then I can't, can I turn and shoot the hellhound from there? Uh, I believe so. One, two, there, there. Yeah, you'll be in front. Four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. And I can torso twist. Torso yes. twist and, and shoot in with all of the juice. What is my range? Yes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. But so you're at long range with your medium lasers. It's not great for medium lasers, but um, fine for my large lasers. I'll do that. I mean, that hellhound hopefully will basically melt here under the three or four of us. I mean, as long as y'all do a better job than you did with that timber Arthur, wolf. you're actually... Don't, don't remind me. <laughs> uh, what I said was uh, some really snappy, witty comments, and then I forgot I was muted. Sure, uh, I'm going to do that, too, every time I come off of mute. What um, I like, also yeah, said really was... all that smart stuff I just <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and declare that the Hellhound is spotting for the rest of its star. Oh, goody. Who is he spotting for? I'm sure he's going to spot us. Or what is he spotting at? Right at that Flashman. Okay. The Flashman has a, a nice butt right now. That butt is about to be filled with missiles. That's a, a plus lot. six straight away just for his movement, your movement, and, and, and yeah, that's spot. Be so you should be fine. Well, you know, I don't always get the option of getting exactly what I want, but I've got to try. In a perfect world. Yeah, in a perfect world. All the only right. one that's in my rear arc is the Jaguar anyway. Who am I shooting with first? Great question, me. Hmm. I don't know. This Devastator is looking pretty shootable. Bring it. Seven, eight, I nine, dare you. 11, 12, 13, 14. Got a nice new hexes. fresh paint job. Yeah, I mean, I've been looking forward to maybe breaking down that mech a little bit. <laughs> All right, no medium pulse. I think I can just go hot with everything. Do it. Burn yourself alive. Um, okay, so it's medium wanna, for the large lasers, and then everything. You want to try to indirect fire at red? Is that? No, I'm good. I'm gonna uh, just maybe smoke you real quick. All right. Uh, smoke three, you like four, five. Uh, you didn't move enough to matter. So it's seven for the ERs and nine for everything else. Okay. All right, well, let's open with the LRM 20s and the ER large and then everything else. Man, you're gonna burn yourself alive. You're gonna burn yourself alive. No, roll over onto the six, you <laughs> son of a bitch! You <laughs> son of a bitch! Ah, <laughs> oh, that, was, that was fucking devastating to watch. <sighs> Fine, whatever, all right, sevens. Oh, that's still an eight. Uh, so that's what is this for? Large laser hit, left arm. Oh, that's not great. How much damage does that do? You know, probably. It's a large laser. It does fifty. Uh, uh, that's right. Ten <laughs> points of damage. Oh, that's not great. What, which arm was it? Left. Okay. Great. Awesome. Exactly what I wanted. And his mech explodes. Your oh, mech please. explodes. Rocks fall in, and then you die. All right. Now I'm shooting nines again for ER medium lasers. God, this is a garbage round for this motherfucker. Excellent. Jeez. Excellent. Excellent. No. All right, I'm just going home. 
Calling it. Game's over. All right, so how much heat do I build? Two plus... Uh, I mean, the large lasers are 12 each. 14 uh, plus 24 is... 38. If you, if you say it's not enough for you to build any heat, I'm gonna cry. 48 minus 34 is 14 points of heat. Oh my goodness. Ghosting, that's warm. <laughs> it's a shutdown test. Shut yes, down. it is. Come on, three. It's pretty easy, though. Give me a three. Not good. That's not a three. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so the That's river funny. that the niggas. Mad Cat is running through suddenly begins steaming as as mist rises around it. It unloads everything on the Devastator and unprobably, improbably misses so much shit. All right. right after you talked all that shit to his subordinate over there in that other land. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that must be embarrassing. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15 as well for Mr. Cauldronborn, huh? Uh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. I can do this. Uh, three, four, five. Oh, it's going to be the exact same. So seven and nines. All right. I guess we'll do Goss, LBX at sevens, and then LRM 10 medium laser at nines. Goss rifle first. You know, I think I'm probably just going to spend one point of edge to bump that up. Do you have an edge left? I have two edge left. Why don't you uh, go fuck yourself? It's not great. Where does that hit? Left arm. Well, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not great. You should Can make a roll make to that... stay standing real quick. Can we not like make that like a uh, right arm? That'd mm -hmm. be great. Mm -hmm. T tell me about your stay standing roll real quick. Uh, Perfect. You know. I should have expected that. LBX is a hit. Five points of damage left torso. It's, uh, it's better than the arm. LRM's miss. Medium laser is a miss. That's, uh, what are you worried about? Doesn't your Devastator have like 50 more armor in all of the location slots? No. Uh, you, you brought my arm down to nine, which is worrisome because oh, uh, that Gauss Rifle will explode if it gets hit. Oh, well, that's unfortunate for you, actually. That, that is really all right, unfortunate. right, let's keep shooting there. Let's just figure out how to uh, you could not. zero in on it. Is it our you turn know? to shoot? Yeah, it's your turn to shoot. Pick somebody. Uh, now, the question is, do we want to focus fire on the Hellhound? Because he's an easier shot for me than it is for this. Uh... I think we should focus on the Hellhound this round. If we're going to do that, then you should get Cotton to fire first because she's only got a shot on the Hellhound. That way, you see, if she takes it out, there's no point in you putting more shots into it. Uh, that's completely fair. Go ahead. Look at this XCOM tactical mastery right here. He's busy. He's on the strategic layer checking to see who's got Overwatch shots. Yes. What are you throwing at me, Cotton? Yes. What are you uh, throwing at me? Okay, I was just asking if they wanted me to go first for sure. Yeah, yeah they do. Yeah, yeah. They've chosen okay. you as the oh, sacrifice. Six, and Rad, Cotton and Rad should certainly be shooting. I want. Your range is 12. I'm going to shoot my uh, Goss Rifle for my two ERP PCs at him. Because if I did that right, I won't gain any heat, but I won't lose any heat. That's I think correct. you'll build one heat extra. Um, did she? Yeah, you jumped. Um, I walked. She... No, she walked. Oh, oh she walked? walked? Okay. You won't build any heat. Yeah, you're, you're, See, you're... my little green walk die? Oh, okay. I, I saw, I saw the blue one right next to you. That confused yeah. me. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, then, yeah, you you matched that correctly. You, uh, 12. You won, the, you won the heat mini game. Start with two, walk three. You jump for three, so it's uh, six. On all three of them, right? Because they're all medium range? Uh, should be all medium range. 12 hexes. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's. So, yeah, that's medium range. Got some damn good shots right there. So, sevens. Goss rifles first? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it starts off with a perfect uh, Location 10 is uh, left arm. Great. 15 points of damage. <laughs> 15. Oh, that is one point of internal. Uh, does it crit? Uh, it, does, it does crit. It does, it does crit. crit. Yeah, one crit. I don't think there's anything good in that arm. Nope. That was a useless arm. <laughs> How dare you say that, sir? Every arm is special. Every, Every arm is sacred. Every arm PPC. is grand. 
All right. I think you need to just roll one dice. Hand actuator. If an arm is wasted. Well, he won't be picking up the Baron with that arm. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit me with your next shot. Fire away. For seven. Oh That's my eight. god! Uh, same location, ten points. Did you say same location? <laughs> yeah, same location. Yeah, no, no crit though. No crit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left arm is gone. Okay, so it bleeds over to three the three points of damage to the left torso. All right, so yeah, Sword Hound's just running. It's like, ah, I'm doing great. I fall. Oh, God, my arm <laughs> goes flying off into the woods. <laughs> and then the last DPC. Sure, great. Uh, it's, uh, it's only a six. Where right? is it? Ah, uh, shit. Is that what she needed? No, she needed one more, and I didn't see where that hit because I accidentally pressed it. Oh. I was going to add, see if it was worthwhile, and I re-rolled it. So now it says two for center torso crit. Mm -mm, mm -mm. We're not taking that. I want Damn. the other numbers. I want the other one. But well, we don't know them. Well, know that's them. too bad. Pato should push stop push pressing button. the fucking button so I, fast. That that update button is in a precarious situation. You're I'm in sorry. a precarious situation. That update button is placed perfectly. I think Pato should have hit it by mistake. <sighs> I hit the 2d6. And... I need to know where she hit. It's like that c we don't know because he didn't I, hit update. I, I, he hit wait, the roll wait, again. Wait, can we uh, roll the table back? I don't want to do that, man. You, it will force us to re reload everything. Well, then Arthur, just tell us tell us what to do then to determine. I'm saying let's not edge reroll yeah, this one. That's what edge. I'm saying. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. We're just gonna let this one miss. We'll, we'll the, edge roll this potentially mecha destroying PPP shot PPP that we could really use. Uh, the Hellhound switches his internal track over to Die Another Day from the James Bond. <laughs> Live and let die, perhaps. <laughs> All right. Sorry, if that was. I believe that makes it my right. turn. Way to go. Uh, I'm sorry. Is this a left side shot on the? Can we all get an edge back because something terrible no, happened to us when Pondo rolled that die? No, no, I get an edge back. No, that's not how it works. I read it in the book. If something really bad happens to you, it's karma. <laughs> You're laughing. Is what the book says. I'm not making it up. I mean, that uh, was something bad, bad, bad that happened. That's literally what the book says. Uh, ER medium lasers and So I think we should lasers. all get a point of edge back, except for Pondo. Except for Pondo, right. That's uh, I I'm would saying. accept this. All right, so he's spotting. Because <laughs> that was a crit uh, on the three, center torso. Four, and that would be great. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> uh, the medium, the large laser is ten. That is nice. Wow, I'll spend my last point edge on that one. Okay. Uh, left side is a right torso shot. Is it right? Yeah. Right torso takes ten points right of side. damage. Now I need to hit. Is it one or two? Wait, who took ten? You did. You did. Flashman, oh. left torso, ten points of damage. It's right torso. Right torso. Right torso. Yep. Got it. All right. Sure. 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 All right. Looking for twelves. That's not a twelve. That is also not a 12. Oh, that's God. great. You don't need 12s. You don't need 12s. You know, I don't want you people telling me what I need. I'll decide what I need. All right, I build three points of heat. Oh, no, Wait, I jumped six hexes. Build? So I guess I actually build six points of heat. Nope. Okay. Don't build heat. Uh, so fabrication. Sorry, did, oh, did you remember the minus one for the fact he spotted as well? Yep. Cool. Now, let's see here. Uh, I get plus four from the spotter. So four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And if it's medium range, it just makes it impossible. Yep. There's no way. Can it's I see the victor? I can. And he is not at long but you, range. But you weren't spotting the victor. You were spotting You're the right. flashman. You're right. <laughs> Technicality. Yeah. Do it. Get double sixes. No, you don't have edge anymore. You use it. Got one more. 
No, he no, used it. I used it all. He used okay. it to hit you. That how, last how many time? rounds does the vulture fight at Teller Emden as well? Not many. Yeah, because I only get six six shots with both of them total. Yeah, but it hasn't really been firing. I think it's only used three. Uh, <sighs> all right. Well, uh, this Ammo is card. Even I, I feel like the spotting was a bad move because I literally can't even fire. All right, you guys are up. Now, are we continuing with focus firing on the Hellhound? Yes. Yeah, well, Rat so. should shoot now because Rat can only shoot that as well. Okay. Um, I need. Like tens? Three. Yeah. Three, six, seventy nine. I actually need elevens. It's nine hexes. Yeah. Because I'm a three, three pilot, so I need elevens to hit this. That's dude. so sad. That's right. I ran, you know, I ran a lot. It was a defensive turn for me. It's not an offensive turn for me. Yes. Hellhounds in the same, same position. Oh no, you only need tens. Is it tens? Yeah, because running's only two heat. Oh, running's two only two. two. That's right. Yeah, I was counting it wrong. Okay, cool. I need tens. That's still not great. Red. Fine. I mean, it's better than eleven. If I just need some of them cotton uh, rolls, that's head? not. That's not one. No. Oh, I didn't even look at the location. That's my bad. That's not. Uh, one. It wasn't. It wasn't. I did. Yeah. What is seven? Did you move the update thing to like a weird janky? Oh. Pondo. Oh my gosh, it's so unbalanced now. Pondo, I'm putting it back. Just don't, don't ever touch it again. Stay away from my son. <laughs> Would have been nope. Okay, so three large lasers, all whiz by. That's my turn. All right. Top two clan mechs do not fire. They do, however, maintain targeting lock. An annoying targeting lock on the rear of the Devastator. Like, your targeting computer is like, you have been locked onto by two clan targeting computers. Warning, they're in your rear. Warning, they're in your rear. That's a good sign. I think. You guys are up. Uh, so now we can shoot, right? Yep, now you should go. Because I've got no we're, shot, I'm out of range. All right, I mean, you so, can always shoot. The question is, do you want to shoot? So we're focused what on... What is shooting, Pondo? Start two, uh, walk three, six, uh, from his movement. And it's medium range for the PPC and Goss. Because it's 13 hexes away. So we'll be shooting at to eights. Not bad, not bad. Your face is the eight. Class number one. That is not. Oh, what is that? Center torso. Center torso. What did you roll? You want to come at me, bro? Uh, four. Cock cock. Uh, um, what's this? How much armor does this dude have? What? Not like on. a lot. A the lot. Conjurer? Yeah. It has twenty three. So that would be a sizable chunk of the center torso. All right, I'll edge it. Roll again. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't get another one. No, Cotton has it. drained all of your luck. Okay. Sorry. Shoot some other guns. I, want, I feel like one old run. I'm just going to roll again. Roll for the second gas. Hey. Fucking. No, no. Get this out of here. Get, get this train out of here. What's location nine? What side am I shooting at anyway? Uh, I'm shooting in front. That's, that might still, dude, that's still forward arc, yeah. That's not worth so that's it. That's left leg. <laughs> Goss number. No, it's PPC one. God damn. It. Oh fuck you! What do you hit? Center torso. Yep. Coo, coo, coo. I just need eight. Do you need? You need a. What it's, rough. You roll? it's rough. It's rough. I rolled right. seven. I just need one more. You just need an edge bump. Come at okay. me, bro. That's fine. All right, you can have another one. Jesus. Okay, well, 10 to the center torso. May I ask a question real quick? How much edge do all y'all motherfuckers have left? I have one left. Okay. I have two, one. I just spent two. I have two more. Cotton, what about I you? Okay, great. James? Zero for me, sorry. Excellent. I, both I, was, uh, I, was, I was planning on saving my last edge for my ejection roll. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not spending any more. Two, I was planning on finding your pilot and stepping on him, so, you know. Whatever so you want to do, a, brother. Center torso, right yeah, there. great. Uh, yeah, I'm not spending one for anything less than a headshot at this point. Yeah. Uh, PPC number two. That that oh, hits yeah. finally. Uh, Ten more to the center torso. torso. Nice. 
Thank God. See, if we had gotten one of those gauze rifles in there. Uh, yeah, maybe. that's... He'd be in real trouble now. I should have I should have just tried to re-roll it again. Uh, if he's actually going to fall. Sweet. That's that's terrific. That's what we want. That's, yeah. Take some damage to the center torso. So does that mean uh, my shot gets easier? Is it? No. <laughs> no, it no, doesn't. I get hotter. I get hotter, in fact. He just really? can't move. It doesn't, the doesn't fall doesn't degree. take place until next turn, guys. Calm down. Yeah. I you do. just can't oh, move yeah. as far next turn. Yeah, that's okay. He's taking a bunch of... Well, did he take a penalty to his oh, move six. for heat? He did, right? Yes. So he's not going to move very far. No, he's not. You're gonna move he's getting a cost far. two. And then he has a minus one. Uh, mm -hmm. da, 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 max weight divided by five. It's five points. He takes yeah, five points. Five points. Great, 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 great. Uh, it's to the back of the. Is it to the front or front back? Hey, of you gotta roll to see which way he falls first. Uh, okay. Please be at the front and hit center torso. Uh, he falls facing slightly left. So it's a left side hit for the location. Okay. Now just get center torso hit with like a couple of crits. And it was a nine, so right torso. That's not. It's not the torso we wanted. Well, no, have you considered? <laughs> Should re-roll that. <laughs> Going and fucking yourself. Uh, no. Nah. I do consider that. Uh, mech prone. Egg. And now I believe he needs to make a piloting roll to fall damage to himself. That's it. Yes, second piloting you just roll. Need to fall, fall, face plant, and uh, hurt yourself completely. That will actually check out. Well. <laughs> right. He needs a five, six. You got an eight. You Do we include the jump energy. modifier as well to that? No, it just is for the yes. for that. It only takes permanent yep. things, so it doesn't even take the minus one for the twenty damage. It's just a straight. All right, he's good. Uh, that's unfortunate. All right, keep your shooting going. Uh, that was the last thing I could shoot. All right, uh, this here adder and this here combination Euler elemental group uh, don't shoot. They're just pointing out my back, as I assume. Uh, the second adder is pointing at the Zeus. Oh, okay. Sir, I think that's a good sign. They're not shooting us. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a little bit worrisome, but I think they're going to wait. Uh, just, we should just look it as far as the other side as possible. So good you guys should still have people left to shoot, like one person left to shoot. Uh, I yeah, I but he can't shoot anybody. Yeah, no, kid. Oh, kid. Kid. I'm sorry. You're talking about. You're always trying you're to skip me. Why do no, you hate me? <laughs> I just forget, Sid. Listen up. You, you listen up, motherfucker. I don't want to hear any of this from Okeanos veterans who skipped me during the fucking finale of the goddamn show. God, you're such a grudge holder, Arthur. I'm the GM. You can't skip me. Stands for Grudge Master. <laughs> um, I'm going to alpha strike this guy. I did not move. I'm starting at a base of one, medium range, and then he jumped for three, so I'm shooting at sixes for everything. Uh, so ER large, two LRM-15s, and Gauss rifle. I'm going to do ER first. That will hit. Nice, nice, nice. Location uh, six, right torso. Takes uh, eight. Takes ER? uh, eight. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Gauss rifle is next. Nice, nice. That will hit. Uh, that'll hit. Same uh, location. Uh, right torso again. Right torso again. How much damage? Actually, no. you're not. You're actually shooting at the wrong side. I'm sorry. Uh, no, he is. he moved because he went prone, but he's still. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, still the front. Yeah. I apologize. Uh, so it's 15 to the right torso. Six. That does nine internal damage. Wasn't crit anyway. Okay, LRM 15 number one hits. We have a God. cluster of nine. Oh my God, Sid. Uh, uh, 12 I... missiles hit. So the first five go to your left torso. Sure, sure, sure. 20 armor left. Uh, the next five go to your right leg. Uh, and then the last two go to your left leg. Sure, sure. Just need to. All right. Take that. Number two. Just hit the 
gets a cluster of 11. I think that's all of them. Come yeah, that's all of them. Come so the, the first five go five to your left arm. Oh, come on. Come Which on. Actually, he doesn't have that arm left anymore, torso. so it goes to the right torso. So, I, how, so it's five missiles? Five, five to the left torso. Yep, got it. All right, get it. Come on. Uh, five more to the left leg. Damn it. Right torso. Right, right torso. Uh, it's left torso. The last five go yeah. to your left torso. Uh, it, if it goes internal, it does crit once. It doesn't. Yep. God damn it. <sighs> he is. Wow, there's there's not up. much there at all, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just needed one of those to hit the left, oh the right God. torso, <clears throat> and that would have uh, pretty much just. I just want to point out a assault lance took on a clan medium and still couldn't kill it. Yeah. And uh, you know, them's the breaks. Them are the breaks. Well, yeah. Clans are bullshit. At the end of the round, two things happen. The first is that you receive a radio and transmission citadel. Uh, it is coming over local AM waves from uh, Walkie Talkie. Okay. And it's from the Baron, I assume? This is Baron Kirsch. I, I'm at some location. I can't really see what's going on on the battlefield, but there's a lot more vibrations now. Are there more enemies out there, Citadel? Uh, yes, but we've got this under control. You need to cut Are your you comms. sure? I was thinking maybe I would... I would surrender to them. I would make a lot of noise and like broadcast very loudly and get their attention so that you could shoot them from behind. That's a thing that happens, right? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> all right then, I, I'm cranking oh, up the gain on this bad boy. <laughs> attention all clan units. This oh, is dear, Baron Kirsch. Oh. I am. So, so what is his location at the moment? Uh, Bottom four is uh, the there. All right. <laughs> so, so he's like, I'm over here. I know that you want me. Come and get me. You're on my land now. Wow. So, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so now that you've communicated that, you may want to try and pull out to the south and we will try to swing around and get you because we can't get you before they will. I'll hold my position here. I um, trust that's, you. That's, no, that's the need... exact opposite of retreating. You need you know? to move. Dear God. Who are these people that are on my radio channel? Cut, clear the channel. This is not. This is the Baron. This is not some local broadband. This is a secure like military is, channel now. I feel like this is a lot more conversation than can be had in six seconds. <laughs> the second thing that happens is all of your mechs get a air raid warning sensor informing you that a uh, uh, a fighter group is inbound. That is not broadcasting a friendly IFF. What, sir? What? Is this? Sir? It's not Don't great. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, um, that's that's the opposite of what I'm doing right now. I'm worried so much. What's in front of us. We can't worry what? about anything else right now. I'm worried about everything. <laughs> How worried about it are you? Summoner. Yeah, that's the Baron now. The Baron is a tiny summoner. Okay, great. At least we have a summoner again. <laughs> Bandito, you seem pretty worried. Would you like to take a minus one wow, to all the rest tiny. of your actions on this uh, turn? To, uh, no, do I have to? Do to have attempt to, to sensor lock the incoming fighter group and identify oh. them. If, uh, I try to identify them? Oh, yeah. sure. Sure, make a sensor operations roll. With a minus one? Uh, well, no, you'll get a minus one for all the rest of your actions this round. No. You're going to be real sad when you roll no. one when less you're rolling. than you. Oh, no. look at that. No, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not going to do it? All right. Okay. All right. Because it, it, it's... Rad mentioned the minus needing that one, and mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm, gonna mm -hmm, happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna bite right 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 to the body, and it's gonna be one less. It'll All be right. a headshot, and I'll be like, "Damn it!" <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't give you edge just to teach you a lesson. It'd be like, "Set Rad was right." <laughs> that's a that's a thing we don't often hear on this show. Rad was it's right. True. It's true. Uh, let's withdraw our movement dice then, and then roll for okay. initiative. Yeah. Damn it. Uh. In real life, I basically only survive because I have a very high edge score. Yeah, you're like the rapier. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. God damn it. 
For some reason, there are people out there that think that rapier is my self-insert, and I'm like, do you think I ride motorcycles one-handed while firing a rocket launcher? Do you even watch this show? <laughs> do you watch this show? <laughs> Does that mean, Rad, that the rest of your stats are your dumb stats? Yeah, all the rest of my stats. I mean, look, when you have enough edge, everything is a dumb stat. I have like edge nine, and everything all else right. is basically crippled. Go ahead and make your roll. You, you need to get a four on the dice to tie me. Uh, wow! I got four on the yeah, dice. excellent. Wow. I'll take that reroll. Had to jinx it. All right. Oh, nope. Uh, that fucking rollover. That rollover, um, sir, was painful to watch. Those up there. <laughs> They never be on need to be on a jagged field. All right. We should add a dice box to our thing here. I don't know. I kind of like the way we do it now. I actually like it. I like them up here on the on the chart a lot. Yeah, yeah I hate it when they're down here because then they get oh, caught up in the ter terrain. Uh, yeah. You could have put them in the lake. That's true. The lake's yeah, they, they would eventually get to one side and then we would just forget about it until I'd be like, damn it, get these out of here. The lake is basically a dice train. And then you guys are up. I only move one on the first turn. I will uh, move by turning slightly. Wow. Okay. Brave. Sir, you're, uh, sir, sir, you want to go the opposite way of them. Oh, yeah. All right. I like how we, I like how, hey, I, like sir. how I like how we had a tactics meeting and you two nerds are still just standing on a hill. I'm, uh, no, I'm moving there. I'm really slow. That's I know you problem. are. Yeah. <laughs> I had to back down because it was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we're supposed to be moving somewhere? Yeah, we're supposed to be going, you know, away from them, remember? Yeah, Arthur, when you get a chance, when you edit this video, like actually watch our tactics discussion and then say, how does that equate to what they did? <laughs> I'm actually, I think I'm going to not watch the tactics discussions all season long and then go back and watch them afterwards. That'll be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I like the tactics discussion so that the audience can can could, see the way your all's brains work. <laughs> could you please at least you know like start moving towards this direction, not just staying? There. Okay, fuck. <laughs> but I like standing still. It makes it easier to shoot things. You already moved. That's true. You might I as mean, well move farther look, away. If you don't want to do it another turn, I mean, this is going to be your opportunity to. The hellhound's going to have to dip behind Three, this. Or five. Just, if you want to walk, just go for her. Yeah. Uh, well, I have to turn. And I'll get in that spot, and then you can just drop down on me, and I'll you just ride on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo, that works. Just gonna grin log in it. Chicken fight. They've style. combined. The only caveat is, is that you'll go slower. <laughs> I love the idea of the Zeus on the Devastator's shoulders, and the Devastator walks into the water like it's a swimming pool. They're a move. Challenge the Jaguar and the Timberwolf. The to a chicken fight. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Actually, uh, let me rethink this. <laughs> this is how we do it in the inner sphere. One, two, three, four, five. What's my movement rate? You're four, five, you're four, six. Sid, Sid, Sid. No, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, were you here, Sid? Yeah, you were there. All right, is your turn, Sid? You uh, good? AP? You done? Can you yeah. Terrain levels when you're backing up walking. Huh? Can you yes. change terrain levels? Yeah, I did. So then I'll end up. I'll oh, I'll fix it. I'm just gonna back up and I'll be facing this way. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, one, two. That way, at least seven, if somebody one, shoots two, me, I have some three, plate cover. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see, Bandit, it was all about the tactics. Can I contact the uh, star commander that of the first lance? Oh yeah. god. You're not allowed to talk to the enemy commanders. <sighs> Who says that in character? <laughs> first off, it's it's uh, enemy stars. And enemy stars. do you mean the star captain of the first lance or the star commander? Oh fuck. See now I'm saying lances. It's it's a captain. I you wanna talk to the yeah. captain? Captain Charlie or Sir? Commander Quarrel? These other guys aren't quite doing what I thought they would do. Like they're moving in on us, and I don't really like that. Uh, should we like contact the uh, captain of theirs, and maybe they can talk it out a little bit? I'm being uh, real. Hopeful, sure, I'm sure they're probably having a very lively discussion right now. But right now, we don't know if they're moving on us or if they're moving on them. We're kind of 
caught in the middle, you see. Yeah, uh, that's that's why I really want to contact them to figure out what's going on. I don't think they're really going to tell us, do you? I mean, it would be worth a shot. Uh, it very much would not be, you see, because it could end up pissing them off and then, you know, they could Let's just- Let's do it. Aren't they already us. pissed off? Bandito <laughs> pissing somebody <laughs> off? <laughs> Sir, the thing is, can we really piss them off more than they, they already are? Because they already oh, kind of... Uh, sir, I think you underestimate my ability to make people angry, sir. And uh, I you underestimate we are the plants. Never mind. Be angry. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go to our plants. So it's our turn we to move? Both yes, it seem is. seem to have a very handy capability. One, two, people. three, uh, four, five. His mother was a technician. <laughs> Is that Sorry. it? You done? That's I'm done. Alright. Uh anything I need to make a piloting room stay stand up. I succeed. Ah, uh, darn. Bummer. Thanks for what you want. Um, um so I can enough? run. Right. So do you say I get to pick which way I'm facing? Yeah, when you stand up you can face any direction you want. Yeah, it sounds great right now. Uh so I have seven. Uh one, two. Three, four, five. Yeah. Oh, gee, it's like he's hiding from. Me. Isn't he down? Um, isn't he down moving points from heat? Yes. Am I down moving yes. points from heat? Yeah, yeah, you're down like three. You're down three. One Two from, from the same hell 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 hell? Or heat. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should be able to. I can get be minus one to stand up, right, and then minus two for your heat modifier. Yeah, it's the turning again thing that's a problem. All right. I didn't realize this was up on a ledge, though. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, it's it's two for, it's two two movement points to stand up. Yep. Oh, so I have two. six left. One, two, three, four, five, six, which will give me plenty of tree cover. Coward. These people. I don't want to fucking hear about coward from you, mate. Um. No, I'll go one back and turn. So I get a good shot in the ass. I think you have more armor in the butt, actually. Two points of... Yes, but true. I also want to shoot back. That's true. All right, so that's a run. Great. Yeet. That's, right. a, that's a six. You've only, you've only moved two X's. I know. Jesus, <laughs> guys. Calm down. We're Calm trying down. to get whatever advantage we can get at this moment. Jesus. All right. Let's talk about this Timberwolf bad boy. Uh, Going to dive in the water. 14 means Actually, don't do minus that. two you movement. Try to lose your heat. Pretty sure I can still shoot that guy. Uh, I think, think there's so? a pillar in the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you shoot me now? Which side are you? If you shoot on this side, I think you have a clear shot. No, there's three trees in the way. Uh, no, you're above the trees. Actually. I think I can shoot him. I'm above. Oh, Yo, you definitely can. I can shoot him. Yeah, when you're above the trees, he's in the hexes and still count, but not the other ones around. Uh -huh. mm. But he's got partial cover from the hill in front of him. Uh, yes, he does. You gotta, you gotta hide the timber wolf from me, huh? Yeah. He's. Oh, oh cool tailtop just that. crashed for me. Well, stop sucking. Oh. Now right. here's. That's my max moves. You guys are up. I am torn between going after this hellhound and starting to maneuver away. Especially when that vulture hasn't moved yet. You could go after the hellhound into the trees, but not get too far ahead. So you get cover. Yep. If I'm going to go after the hellhound, I'm going to end up probably like here or here. If you can get enough yeah, tree cover, you'd be fine. There's heavy woods in there, so... Can you jump up on that platform that I did earlier? Because you got the heavy woods on. Um, I can't jump. I can't tree. jump. Are you talking about getting walk right up. here? Yeah, walk up. Uh, does it, it would cost me three to step into this heavy woods, wouldn't it? Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, actually, yeah, I could. That's not half bad, right? The game is giving me a crash message, but right now everything is. You cool. might have. You don't want to stay in there. You don't have the protection of the woods around it because you're a level higher than the other woods around it. But I have the two woods I'm standing in, right? That's it. Yeah, it's plus okay. two. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. this pillow will help him a little bit, but I don't know. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, the pillar will not. Well, you need to have plus two there, or if I come... If you're there, you're not shootable by the vulture. We can't get anywhere where it's going to be within three, although it could get higher, I suppose, and shoot down if on Where? It. If I'm here? Down here? What if it gets spotted again? Yeah. yeah, but the, yeah if the vulture gets up high, they can shoot down on you, though, so keep that in mind. So where was I? It was right here. You're saying a vulture could attack from above? I'm shocked. Do you say? Oh yeah, I just I DFA all the time. It's my primary strategy. The other option is to just let Cotton try to finish it, and I start scooting away. That's really unfortunate. This uh, little actually, am I? Nope. No, I'm not. I uh, think. Oh damn, that one pillar's in the way. See, that Mad Cat has a tasty back shot on it, and it's like I can't capitalize on it, which is unfortunate. Can I? Can I? Shoot at the hellhound. So what's going on here? I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all your movement. Well, but then the vulture could still shoot me in the back. I'm trying to not get shot in the back, guys. That's the. That's, that's really the goal here. You could take one less movement and turn so he doesn't get a back shot, hopefully. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you stay in this hex, you'll get two, two, uh, two to be hit. Yeah, but it'll be a long range shot. And you'll only be one, only be only plus one for movement. We won't get any plus for moving. So you may, if you can move three hexes, it's the same as standing in one high woods. So you're saying I might as well just stand yeah. So you may as well go there rather than there because you get the same benefit. It's a plus two to hit you either either way. But the difference is here I can just torso twist and not not as readily show my back to the vulture. Whereas if I go all the way here, I don't have any movement left to not show my back to the yeah, vulture. Yeah, true. Yep. So I think I'm just gonna do that, I guess. Probably get shot at some more. I uh, also let's see here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, don't, 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 don't stop there. Face towards this direction. Yeah. Because that cauldron boar can just walk up behind you and shoot you in the. Oh, the cauldron boar hadn't gone yet either. Nope. No. Also, all right. Never mind then. I'm. Just, I don't care about the hell out anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. And I think I'm just gonna do that. That leaves me with, should have three woods between me and what's his nuts, right? The yeah. Hellhound? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So All right. he can't shoot me. Heavy's count twice. Okay, so I'll, pro I'll probably get shot out by the vulture and maybe spotted, but at least I'm one. Well, the Hellhound three. can't spot. I don't think there's anyone to spot. I mean, the Mad Dog potentially could, but there's really no one, not really a lot of people to capitalize on Get it. Fox probably could from its angle. So I didn't move enough to matter, right? I only moved three hexes. Three hexes is one. Okay. And it's a wall. You guys are up. So Cotton, can I suggest that you jump to here? Because that way you won't, if you're facing towards this direction, you won't, no one can get a back shot on you and you've got a good range there to the Hellhound, what if I cause... told you I was going to ask about the same thing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah I thought it. Okay, doke. Oh, I'm not turning. Hang on. I wasn't facing a, a little line thing. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, no, okay. That's that's probably. That's a jump of two. Well, can I just walk it? That'll be better. No, I, I counted for you. You can't. Okay. You could. Uh, two, one, two, three, four, uh, three, four, five. You could just run and get to there. Yeah, I would run it. I mean, yeah. You, well, you would. Uh, if you run it, you'll take a plus. Your back would be invulnerable. What? If you run if you it, you'll. You'll take a plus two. Well, she won't plus. get into a position that her back wouldn't be vulnerable. Oh. Yeah, she would be facing towards this direction. 
and the mad dog could potentially get to the back shot. Okay. Isn't he out of my? Can I not shoot him anymore now? No. No, you're fine. No, he's good. Okay. You just have like one tree in the way, and then the one he's standing in. Okay. The Zeus can't hit the Hellhound. No, he's got too many trees. No, he can't. He's above the trees. Oh, he can? I'm above the trees, I can shoot him. Sweet. Okay. Nine movement. No heat. <laughs> I don't have nine movement. I can only move eight. That changes things. That's when the... That's when the victor just comes in, RKO's the vulture. <laughs> they meet midair. Oh no, wait, the vulture doesn't jump. Did you move your? Just did you move your uh, Aldernborn? <laughs> yes, I did. When yeah, Cotton was messing there. around, I didn't realize she hadn't finished moving yet. Oh my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll take that zero move. All right. But I'm in pretty bad options and I really want to shoot rad. That's. It just wants us to die. Yeah, I mean, look, my my uh, options were get farther down but get shot in the back or not get shot in the back. Are you going to punch him? I'm going to kick from a high level. Because yeah. you're so kicking the punch table in. Kick to the face. <laughs> Actually, there's a good chance that could happen. That would just destroy the head. Actually, it wouldn't destroy the head. It would only do eight damage. No? Not enough. Do you have the ability to knock him off the ledge? Because that'd be kind of funny. Sparta! There, there is a charge you could do, but I think they have to be on the same level. <sighs> All right. Look, friends, we're at the halfway point. We're actually way past it. And when we come back, we'll find out who lives, who dies, and I will continue to tell this story. Stick around. Also, Twitch Prime, subscribe all day long. Sign up with Amazon. Boom, nailed it.